Hey, what's up? This is Jared. Another tutorial for you. We are going to Lightbox enable a WordPress theme. Now, you're probably wondering, what is Lightbox? Well, Lightbox allows you to do this. Have larger images, some sort of a slideshow, um, whatever you wanted to do. HuddleTogether.com put together this Lightbox project. Um, you could uh, you could do a single image, which is exactly what I had on the on the front of my blog, or you can actually do image sets, which is kind of neat um, because you know if you if you don't want to take up a bunch of space posting big images, you could just do an image set like this. Um, in the past, I have used significant real estate up posting, like say this for example, I've got. A whole bunch of images here when I could have just used a light box and it would have saved a whole bunch of screen real estate but now with light box I can do just that so what you're going to need is to download light box um, so you're going to need the light box version 2 or the newest version um, they are always making updates so uh, check back often for stuff like that um, if you have any browser issues or compatibility issues, you might need to download the latest version of the script. But uh, the latest version is coming up on a year old, so I think it's probably pretty stable. I haven't had any issues so far. So, the Lightbox script, you'll need that. Um, of course, you'll have to have a WordPress blog that is hosted on your own server, not WordPress.com, because those are not editable. Um, you cannot get into the code on a WordPress.com blog, but if you have a WordPress blog installed on your own server, such as I do, then you can, uh, you can make this adjustment. And then lastly, you are also going to need um, some sort of a file transfer software. Um, I use Transmit for the Mac. Um, there are also some other ones, uh, CyberDuck. Um, if you're on the PC, there's FileZilla. I recommend that. CyberDuck and FileZilla are freeware. Um, Transmit is actually uh, cost a few bucks, but it's it's worth it to me anyhow. Um, so you're going to want to FTP in to your uh, your host account or your server and access your files. So right now I'm looking at the root directory of my blog, um, and then I also have the Lightbox files over here. So what I did is I took the CSS and the JS files and I just moved them straight over to my blog here. And I already have them there, I'm just going to replace them. And so I'm loading those um, right onto the server. I am take, going to into the images here and into my images folder on my server and I will load all of these images into that folder. So now I have all of the images loaded as well. The sample index.html file, you don't need to load that anywhere, leave that there. Um, that's just a sample for you to get an idea of what the code looks like. Now on the Lightbox website, they have the install information right here. So you can follow along um, because I know it's hard to see in this little video uh, if you go to the Lightbox, um, the Lightbox page on HuddleTogether.com. So there is, there in step one, there are these three lines of script that you need to select and you need to copy them. Now then we need to go back to our file transfer software and we need to go into WP Content, Themes, and then choose the theme that you're currently using and then choose header.php now somewhere within the header you're, you'll see, uh, let me zoom in here so you can see this you can see that there is a head tag and then the closed head tag and you need to put it somewhere in between those sections preferably not in between anything else so you need to separate that I would just make it the last 
I have the the Google Analytics code after it, but I would just add those f those uh, three JavaScript um, script tags as the last thing before the closing header tag, and then you come back to um, the uh, Lightbox website and under the uh, second step copy the style sheet reference and then come back here and right underneath the where you pasted the the three scripts paste the the uh, style sheet reference as well and then when you're done with that hit save and so that's saved and and if if you're working live then you then it probably saved it straight to your server or if you're working um, on your computer then you need to copy that uh, adjusted header file over to um, to your server so now everything is done the to actually activate one of the images what you need to do if you go into down to part two on the huddle together website the first step is the adding the relative attribute the relative rel equals lightbox attribute tag to any link that you are going to make you know activate the lightbox feature and underneath it you'll see it shows the ahref image uh, the link to the image and then the relative lightbox tag the title my caption because if you put the title then when you notice, let me click on this up here, if you put the title, then the, the title will show up. If you don't put the title, then it won't show up. But if you want your image to have a title, then obviously you're going to want to do that. Um, so fi follow this right here. That's exactly what I did. Step one is exactly what I did to make this, this uh, little comic here pop up. Um, I didn't really care to have uh, a caption or anything below it because um, everything right here credits my comic, so I don't, I didn't necessarily need to do that extra work to to credit him again. But if you want to, then you would use the title and my caption. And like I said, it's hard to see in this little video, but if you're following along, you could follow along by going to the HuddleTogether.com projects lightbox to website page. Now if you want to do an image set you just follow step two of part two. Um, so if you wanted to actually have several images together where you'd click next to go to the next image and you can click back and it would kind of be like a, a, a slideshow almost, um, you'd use, you just use this code a little bit differently. Um, and you can link these any way you want. The sample right here is just a text link. So if you put this code into your blog, you would see image one, image two, and image three, and whichever one you would click on would load up Lightbox. But you can also do like I did, and I made this picture a hyperlink. This is a small version of that picture. Um, let's go actually into... Uh, the code just so you can see exactly what it was that I did manage and then edit my my last post here um, now let me uh, let me zoom in zoom in some you can see that I have this ahref where the picture is saved to with the relative light box and then instead of having a text link I turned this smaller version of the image into a link and then set a border of zero so it wouldn't look like a hyperlink and then closed off the tag. Um, if you know a little bit of HTML code then you'll be able to uh, figure that out really easy. Um, if not then you can just kinda take a look at my code and and copy it and make it make it uh, make it work for your application. So anyhow, that is uh, the tutorial, and um, keep in mind that if you switch themes to another theme, you are going to need to go and edit that header file as well. So whichever theme you go into, you need to edit the header file and add those over on, on the Lightbox website, the part one and part two of that setup. So 
If you change your theme, don't forget to do that. Otherwise, none of your uh, light boxes are going to work. So anyhow, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to come to the ijared.com blog. As soon as I save this video, I will be posting it to the ijared.com blog. And if you have questions, you could post a comment um, underneath that, uh, that blog posting, and I will answer whatever questions you have. All right. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. Have an excellent day.